What is up guys and time to update the Blue Eyes White Dragon deck profile now. Of course, we got of course new support for it with Blue Eyes Abyss Dragon and it kind of makes the deck just a little bit better. It's kind of a gimmicky card, but you know, Blue Eyes is Blue Eyes. What are you going to do about it? But uh, for for this build, I decided to make it more of a control variant, you know, try to stun and then OTK. So, so without further ado, let's just get right into the deck profile. Now, of course, we are rocking, of course, three blue eyes, white dragons, of course. I mean, this is the card you want to search constantly, ditch the grave, all sorts. It just, it, say, affiliates your combo so much easier. Say three blue eyes, definitely. Um, three blue eyes alternative. Um, you want to get this card to your hand because it's a free, let's say, level eight on the field. So, say, it helps with your rank eight exceed plays and everything else. And then, of course, for... Uh, we have a Blue Eyes Abyss Dragon, the new Blue Eyes, um, now, um, she is pretty good, or, I mean, I mean, as, say, House of Champs made them thighs, though, but she, um, let's see, it's cool because you can add a Ritual Spell or Polymerization from your deck to your hand, so it helps facilitate your Chaos Max play in a more pure Blue, let's say, Blue Eyes deck a lot more easier, like, it is insane, and then, you know, it's cool, and then during your infants, you can add a level 8 or higher Dragon Monster from your deck to your hands. You can add alternative blue eyes, let's see, Levianir, Chaos Max, anything. So it searches all your dragons. Then you can banish the card from your graveyard. All level 8 or higher dragons gain a thousand attack. So it's kind of like an honest for the dragons if you ever need it. So you, you just push for more, say more OTKs. And our last blue eyes we are running, we are running the one blue eyes Chaos Max. I mean, we run him because, one, we can search him super easily in this deck, no problem. Uh, Blue Eyes Abyss can search the Ritual Spell. You know, it, it's a lot more easier to bring him out in a pure Blue Eyes deck. So, that is it. For uh, the main, like, Blue Eyes, I'm not running, uh, let's see, Dr Dragon Spirit of White. I mean, I kinda, it kind of got power prepped eventually. I mean, it's still a cool card, but I didn't really couldn't find a really useful spot for this uh, for the, in, in this deck. Now, of course... Uh, Two, I mean, I mean, three sage. It searches one. It searches effect veiler. It searches any of your missing stones. It's just a nuts card. Like this card is just everything you need for blue eyes. And of course, for your stones, I am rocking two of the ancients and one of the legend. A legend you can just recycle over and over again. Keep adding your blue eyes white dragon and white stone of ancients is insane because you can just bring blue eyes from your deck at the end phase. And then it's it's just cool. It's just cool. So that's my stone lineup personally. Um, eh. I mean, it's blue eyes. It's, 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 I mean, I mean, people mess around the stones a lot. Like some people can run like, like two of these, three of the other one. Like it's nuts, but I always find like the two, one ratio is always the best. Now for some, the other dragon engines, of course, we have one Levianir. Levianir has become a staple pretty much in blue eyes now. Um, it, it really it has, uh, it's searchable. It's easily summonable. Uh, especially with the all lights, you can just extend them from the graveyard. It's nuts. Um, one, say Modark, um, he's with the cloud, uh, say Cloud Castle play. You dump him with Foolish or discard him off an effect or something. So you get him to the graveyard and go from there. And then, of course, we run in the two uh, baby dragons, black and white. So, I mean, they're easily summable. They're dragon extenders. They're just insane for the deck. Uh, now, that's pretty much it for, like, the monsters. Now we got the hand traps. Uh, best hand trap, I think, in the current formats, the three gamma and the one driver, of course. And it's it just stops anything that you really need, and of course the one veiler because you can search it off in um your good old sage if you don't open uh, see if you open all the stuff you need already. So a searchable hand trap is never bad for a deck. Uh, yeah, it's it's safe. now time for all your broken spells. Uh, three melody, uh, of course your ash bait. If it gets ash and you need it, it sucks, but it's also an amazing ash bait because if they don't ash it or stop this, it's <laughs> you're gonna say get get so much advantage off in the one card. Um, we are actually running three of the returns. It's an extended from the grave and it has protection. I mean, it protects all your say big dragons. Like it's not like like it's crazy. This is your uh, extender and your protector. Uh, then we got of course trade in this. It's blue eyes. You need a. I say unclog it, bricky hands. Blue eyes is known for the bricky hands. And then on top of the three trading, we are running the three chaos space. Uh, chaos space is just insane for the deck. Like it's more searching for the deck and unclogs hands. It can dig one deeper. And say if you have Levy and Air or one of the baby dragons in the in the grave. So yes, it's definitely insane. So three chaos space and three trade-ins are for your thing. I mean, if you want, you can rock Avarice as well. But 
ever since um, I mean ever since Chaos Space came out, Everest has kind of been like a, a secondary option. Now we got some power one-offs of Moment Moss Reborn. It's, it's Moss Reborn, uh, the advanced ritual art for your ritual plays. You can search it off in Abyss. Uh, then we have Dragon's Ravine, searchable off in, um, let's say, Romulus. One Dragon Shrine, one Foolish, and then one one for one. Just let's say, bring out your Sage or your, let's say, one of your eggs or whatever else. But that is it for the main deck. Now we're going to go to the extra deck here. Now the extra deck is a pretty crazy. Um, of course, we're rocking the one Twin Burst. It's the only Blue Eyes Fusion we can use without see, actually running the Polymerization. So it's insane. It can attack twice. It can get over big beaters. So definitely a good card there. Uh, now we got uh, Exceeds. Um, one True King. We can easily make him. Of course, so with a Cloud Castle, it's literally just one card Calamities. Uh, like I said, if we're, we're trying to stun an OTK. Then, see, then I'll Cypher. Say one Cypher Blade, one Armored Photon, and one uh, Cypher. I mean, Cypher take stuff, pop, pop, uh, stuff there. Um, say Monster Negates with, uh, say, Photon Lord, and Spell Negates with Titanic Galaxy. Uh, say, depending on your matchup, you can just go in either, or if you have your good rank 8 spam, you can get both on the board. Like, it's nuts. Uh, Link Monsters. We have one Link Akribo, of course. Heretic, uh, say, uh, say the uh, say Spheres. It's a nuts card. It's nutty. Say Romulus is insane because it just searches your, say, Dragon's Ravine, and... It's pretty nuts. Like, it's good. It's good. Now we have our Synchros. One Cloud Castle, of course. Cloud Castle basically goes in your BFD. Uh, one Moonlight to summon off with your Spirit, if, if play that is. A Virtual War Kukubi, a Senshi. Uh, insane. It's literally a, a Macrocosmos on legs. So it's a good way to stun those uh, decks that need the Graveyard. And then one Zero Eyes and one Spirit for your classic Blue Eyes stuff to go into your Moonlight or your Cloud Castle or whatever else and go to your Calamities and go from there. But... That has been my Blue Eyes deck profile. I try to make this as competitive and not as gimmicky as possible. Uh, this is by no means a pure build whatsoever. Uh, we're not going the full mausoleum <laughs> and stuff like that. But but so let me know down in the comments below on what you think of this. Um, I mean, it's a super fun deck. It can take matches. It's actually pretty competitive in I say, certain I say, matchups, so it can really hold its own. But I, I, so let me know down in the comments what you think. I say leave a like and subscribe like always. And until my next video, stay safe and stay healthy. Bye-bye.